I am Maya Israel. I am an assistant professor at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign in the Special Education Department. Uh, my area of research, my primary area, is looking at how we can support struggling learners and children with disabilities and becoming more successful in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM, you will probably hear. I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I'm doing in that area and then a few strategies or resources that could be helpful to, to you. So first, the reason that I do this work is because we know that a lot of kids with disabilities can be very successful in the STEMs and we've got promising data to show that. But we also know that typically they struggle and they struggle because of things such as difficulty with vocabulary and abstract concepts and very rigid interpretations of scientific method and lab reports that they have to complete as part of scientific inquiry. And so the um, interventions and the strategies that I look at are ways to help really meaningfully engage kids that are struggling and provide them scaffolding and support. So for example, one of the studies I'm working on is looking at using video games to support kids who struggle and kids with disabilities in science. So we've been looking across different video games and we're noticing some real promising trends. So children are more engaged and they are gaining the content knowledge. But we're also learning that it's a little bit more complex than yes, it's good for kids because there are game to game variations and there are also differences that we're seeing between boys and girls between kids with different reading abilities and also based on their background knowledge. And so the research I'm doing now is really trying to tease out what is it about the specific components of video games that are making kids more or less successful and what is it about kid qualities that we can support to help them be more successful. So when it comes to girls and gaming, for example, what we're seeing often is that they're presenting as novice gamers, and that is affecting both their attitudes about learning through games and also their performance. And so if we can think of ways to support girls in gaining more experiences in STEM-related games, they become more proficient and they start to enjoy them more. So it just shows that there is a lot more complexity to learning and gaming than what we previously thought. Another area that is of critical importance for kids who struggle and children with disabilities is thinking about how to enhance mathematics, understanding and really making connection to children's real world experiences. One of the ways that I'm doing this is by looking at computer programming for children. Um, as we know, there are a lot of career possibilities for children who can code, who can program as they leave high school and college settings. We also know that even for students who may not be necessarily on the calculus track, um, they can be very successful in computer programming. So providing experiences for learners to A, learn what computer programmers do, and also to learn how to computer program is very important. So I've got a couple initiatives where we're looking at computer programming even at the elementary school level. And so with those particular studies, um, it's really important to think about how are we integrating computer programming into the content areas because we, don't, we know that teachers do not have a lot of time to add anything else into the curriculum. And so that's an area of study, of integrating computer programming into the content area. The other is to really think about how are we supporting kids with disabilities in programming and the kinds of strategies that we can provide them, the kind of peer supports we can provide them in order to do so. So that is an important thing. So as they move through elementary school, middle school, and high school, they have experiences that are successful and they could see this as a possible career possibility for them. Some resources and strategies that could be helpful to you. Um, we know that there are a lot of technologies out there and apps related to learning and STEM. Um, it's important when you look at those technologies and those apps that you really think about them very critically in terms of are they going to support student learning? Are they tied to the content standards? Are they engaging? Because as we know, just like with curricula, Technology is really only as good as how we use it for teaching and the pedagogy behind it. So it's important to have a very critical eye in terms of looking at those technologies. Another really important thing for kids who struggle is to think about inquiry in a very scaffolded way. So we have this continuum of this really wanting to 
completely engineer the program for kids so that they can be successful. And so we try to script everything out. And that is not helpful because we're not teaching children how to problem solve. On the other end of the continuum, we have complete open inquiry, which leaves kids often very frustrated. So looking at children's needs and thinking about how are we scaffolding those experiences for them so that they can experience success um, and some frustration and learning from that is important. And finally, we want to think about how do we integrate universal design for learning and explicit strategy instruction together within the STEM content areas. So we're proactively thinking about instruction that includes a wide range of learners, including students with disabilities. And at the same time, since we recognize that struggling learners have problems with problem solving and vocabulary and kind of the, num the numerous areas that we're explicitly teaching strategies um, as we're teaching the content areas.